Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to truncate a table every time before loading the data. Suppose I have a table called person table, so which contains three columns. Right now I have only three records out there. So assuming this is the stage table, so whenever you load the data into the stage table, we use it to truncate the data, the table and then load. So this is the regular practice we have to do. So staging the data, we have to take the data from the sources, raw data from the sources as it is into the staging table. So at the time, you have to use the exercise package in such a way to truncate the table and load the data into the, into the table again using exercise package. So I will show my text document. This is my text document. It also contains the same columns. Now, if you observe the data, this data is already appear in the table. Whatever the data you have shown in the uh, text document is already there in the SQL table. Now, I want to change the data. I want to change the data. Suppose I am changing the names. So I'm changing the data. I want to load this data, and before that, I need to truncate the data in the table. I am using the <coughs> execute SQL task. So in this task, I used to write a truncate statement. New connection, and this is my database, and this is my truncate statement. Table person. Okay. And click OK. Now, first it will truncate the table and later it will load. So, usually when you want to load the data, you can use data flow task. Double click. And as this is the regular process. Take the flat file source. Click OK. Browse the file. This is my file. Click OK. Columns. These are the columns. And everything is OK. Go to columns. And click OK. And take the destination. OLDB destination. Double click. And select the table. This is my person table. Go to mappings and click OK. All set. So first it will truncate the table and then it is load. So this is what the access this package is designing. Now I am going to execute the passage. So right now we have four records. When I execute the package, this, this data is deleted and new data in the text document. That is, these three records are getting inserted. Here. Go and secure. And again, four, five, six. If you execute this one, one, two, three. So this is how you need to truncate the data and load the data into the tables. So this execute SQL task is truncate the table, whatever you mentioned in the SQL statement. So I want to truncate the table, this person table. Later, it will the data flow task by using data flow task. You can insert the data into the same person table. This is how you need to truncate the table and load the data in the same table. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.